Hello, and this is episode four, and this time it's only going to be short. We're just going to show you what the 2013 Liverpool squad is like. On the back here, we have Chris Davies. He's the head of the opposition analysis, which means he gives he he dishes out tactics and many more. Next to him, here, this gentleman here is the. D Dr. Zaf Iqbal, head of medicine, so he makes sure we've got the right medicine and everything. Next to him, John Attenberg, the goalkeeping coach, he's very important to these fellas. And next to him, he's got a bit of a grumpy look on him, but I'm sure he's important. He's called Chris Morgan and he's the senior physiologist. I think that's what it says. Moving on to the players. Next to Chris Morgan is Andrea Wisdom, the man with the big melon. He's only young, but he's massive and a very really powerful, strong right back. And ne next to him is... I rec a lot of people reckon that Liverpool have got the two best right backs in the country, Glenn Johnson and Martin Kelly. Here he is. Moving on to our goalkeepers, one that has tasted a lot of first team footy recently, Brad Jones. He's been pretty excellent. He made a few howlers, but pretty excellent for Liverpool, considering that Middlesbrough, his own fans threw litter at him. And then of course it's our head it's our head goalkeeper, Pepe Reina. Peter Galaxy. Sebastian Coates, Uruguayan who scored two goals for Liverpool in the short space of time he's been here. Danny Wilson who's just gone out on loads of hearts I think it is. And next to Danny Wilson is Glenn Driscoll. He's the head of the performance. So he will give comments out on performance. Next to him Jordan Milsom, rehab fitness coach. Very important. Here. Matt, Matt Konopinski is the physiologist. Next to him, Ray Horgan, team administration manager. And I like this guy. I like the way he looks. Lee Radcliffe. Radcliffe is the kit manager. Moving on to the next row. This old gentleman here. He's... Um, Graham Carter, he's the kit coordinator. Next to him is Paul Barilla, he's the physiologist. Colin Pascoe, he's the assistant manager. Very important. Moving on to the players again. Raheem Sterling, Liverpool's newest boy wonder. The next big thing, the new Ronaldo. No, we saw him. He's gone now, but... Pretty disappointed loan side, and he's gone to Borussia Dortmund, scoring three goals for us in his six months. But he was a good player, has potential. Good luck to him. Sammy Yesen, another new boy wonder talent. Jack Robinson, a lot of people think he won't make it because he made some mistake every game, but he, everybody knows he has got potential. Jordan Henderson, also known as Jordan Henderson, but not this season, but absolutely fantastic with his performances and a great player to have in the squad. John Joe Shelby had a great start to the season, but he's gone down a bit now. Five goals in this campaign. He's our closest thing to the next Stevie G. But, of course, we will see. Now, one of my most favourite players at Liverpool, because he loves the club, is John Flanagan, a right-back who, when, it, when he was young, he says, who was your hero, Gerard, Carragher, Michael Owen. He's playing with them now, and I really admire him as a great player. And so our Asaidi, who hasn't really had a sniff at Liverpool since we bought £3 million on him. Maybe he's had an argument with him or something. Adam Morgan, another great striker who looks promising. Suso, who can pass them all for anywhere. Danny Pacheco, and next to Danny Pacheco, Mike Marsh, the first team coach. And we got Paul Small. What a great name. Paul Small, here he is, and he's a basso. 
so he does massages, and Sylvan Richardson, also a massive. Now to the final row, it's all players mostly. Joe Allen, Fabio Barini, Glenn Johnson, Stuart Downing, Skirtle, Gerard, Brendan Rodgers, our manager, Carragher, who is sadly retiring, Aga, Enrique, Lucas, Luis Suarez, and Joe Cole, who's left. So here is the Liverpool FC 2012 team in full. Please leave in the comment section what we, you think we could change, who we could buy, who we could sell, who we should keep. And please let me know what we should do in the transfer window and who you think should be on this wall next year. Thank you. It was only a short episode today. Bye.